<sighs> Joe here and welcome back to Creative Piano Academy where I show you simple techniques to get better at the piano and this video is going to follow that down to that absolute letter. You guys have been emailing me and leaving comments on YouTube about how we can improve that finger span, that, that finger spread to reach the octave in the right hand and it's not really something I've had to think about before so I've put my Creative Piano Academy hat on, I've also had a really nice cup of coffee and I have come up with two super practical as always, creative ways that we can start developing that skill. So, introduction. Two things before we get going. First, smash that subscribe button as well as that little bell thing next to it so you know when I upload new videos. Second, go to creativepianoacademy.com where you can get hold of the best adult piano practice plan so you know how and what to practice when you sit in front of that piano. Now, Let's go. Okay, so as I said before, these uh, these two techniques are designed to get those creative juices going whilst also developing those core skills, which is kind of what this channel's all about. So first, uh, for the first technique, don't worry about uh, not being able to play the octave. Let's flip that on its head and work out how we can turn that to our advantage. So first of all, instead of playing both of the notes together like this, we'll spread them out like this, okay? Now, we're going to do that because let's say you can only reach this span, okay? Let's say we can only reach from the C to the B, and that's the maximum span. What we can do is we can play the C and use a little roll technique to reach that C, okay? Like this. Now, I'll just play that for you uh, in, a, in a melodic kind of way so you can hear how that could sound. You know, just using a few basic chords and a bit of melody technique, you've got something that could sound quite nice. So how do we do this? Well, the thumb comes down onto the C, and then what we have is an arch to get to the top C like this, okay? So it's got this nice, relaxed kind of arch feel. Um, if I do it to the camera look, you could see the thumb goes down, and then you see how, if even like this, if I exaggerate, even if my, my thumb and my finger are like this, if I push a thumb down, I go in an arch, I've got all that gap, okay? So you just go to where you feel comfortable and you get this arch here. It's got to be relaxed, okay? It's got to feel really nice and natural. It's no good being stiff and going like this. You've got so much movement here. It's like a flow. You come down to the piano, turn the wrist, and there we go. You've got that. And we can move that anywhere we want. Okay, so again, thumb goes down into an arch at the top. So to start off with, let's just take these C's here and just get used to moving between those octave C's like this. Once you get used to that, start moving around the different notes in the C major scale, which are technically just all the white keys like this, okay? And don't forget, you can start uh, experimenting with different keys. You know, this will work with the black keys as well, anything at all. And if you want a stepping stone up to that, then try the seventh instead of the eighth. So move that finger down to the B, you know, if you want to take that uh, one step at a time, and you can start moving that around as well. Sounds a little bit different, um, but, you know, it's a nice little stepping stone up. And the whole thing is a stepping stone to being able to play these two uh, notes together. So don't forget that, whilst it does sound melodically quite nice, um, that's just an added bonus. It is helping you reach that octave. Add in some left hand chords, boom, sounds really nice, really beautiful. You can spend hours just having fun with it. Now, onto technique number two, and this is gonna drill deep into how we can start developing that finger span in a creative and melodic way, of course. So, first of all, you know, we can, we can start doing this kind of stuff by stretching and then and then going going as basically going as close as you can to as wide as you can as close as we can as wide as we can and that's a really good way of developing this skill you know we can go into extremes like this i always like to think in extremes when we're struggling with something and and, and start incorporating that into the practice so on the piano what we can do is we can start out on the fifth like this everybody should be able to play these two together that's a fifth and what i want us to do is start moving downwards like this so when we're down here we're close together like this and then we'll start increasing the span maybe this is as far as we can get that's absolutely fine we'll just go up to the C and the B and then back down again maybe I'll go back to the B again okay um, and I want you to start moving up and down these notes all I'm doing is I'm keeping the thumb on the C each time and just moving my little finger up and down the C major scale now when I do this a few times and get used to it maybe 
that happens. Maybe that span, just like, it's not quite there, but I'll get the B and the C in. That's absolutely fine. Keep going, okay? Okay, five, 10 minutes a day on this. Maybe that'll start happening now. Obviously, if you're a kid and you've, your hands are still growing, then this might not be possible for you physically. That's absolutely fine. If you're an adult, I would argue that most of the time, it's due to the fact that you just haven't got used to that that spread yet. You've, you've, you've never had to do it before and it's just something you're not used to. So this will get you used to that. So again, go to extremes. And even when you can reach that octave, you wanna get used to that and you want to make that feel more natural, try going to the, uh, to the ninth like this. Or even, let's see if I can do it, to the uh, to the tenth. Yeah, you see what happens there. I have to kind of come down here. Can I reach this one? Uh, can't really reach up there. Um, can't really reach up to the F. Anyway, so you get the idea. Now, let's make that a little bit more fun by adding in the left hand again. So if I just add a few chords in, I can make this sound really nice. There's the stretch. Now, does it sound amazing? No, but it's something. And you know, every time you play something melodic, it seeps into your bones and you start developing your sense of melody. So there we go. So there we go, get creative with it. Just start jumping around these notes um, and adding the left hand in, which of course is a bonus if, you, if you're not quite there yet, don't worry. I do have a few videos on YouTube about it, so check those out. I hope this video has been useful for you. So quick recap, technique number one, the roll like this. Nice and relaxed, we're gonna approach it in. And it's got that nice roll feel, okay? So that's technique number one. Technique number two, extremes. Start going downwards and then reach as far as you can, and then go back down again. Okay, if you get up to the octave, go further than the octave, and then you'll find the octave a little bit better. So there we go, add in the left hand on both of those techniques, smash it out of the pack. So that's about it from me today, guys. I really hope that's helped you, that's inspired you. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Go to creativepianoacademy.com for my latest premium resource at the time of this video. It's the best adult piano practice plan, so you know how and what to practice. It's really good, you'll really enjoy it and you'll get loads out of it. Like the video if you liked it, and I will see you, I will see you in the next video. Joe here. Joe here and welcome to Joe here and welcome to Creative to get better at the piano and today could um I've been You guys have been leaving finger <laughs> Well <laughs> Oh mm. I haven't recorded a video in like two months. This is what happens. Ah, Joe here from Creative Piano Academy.